We are gonna get started on our Henri Matisse collage or painting with scissors. This is a very famous uh, painting with scissors by Henri Matisse called The Sorrow of the King. In this, the musician is playing music to help the king to forget about his sadness. And this was important to Matisse later in his life when he was not able to recover from a surgery and in a good deal of pain from his illnesses too. He used his artwork and music to help him distract him from his pain. So I want you to choose a musical instrument. It could be any th musical instrument you want. From anything from your voice, the drums, a banjo, a harmonica, a didgeridoo, of course we have the guitar here or the lute. Um, I am going to be doing my project on a piano. So I have found I have found um, a picture of a piano and some sheet music that I am going to use to help me with this project too. So I want you to decide what musical instrument you want to make your artwork of. It does not have to be a piano. You make your own choices. You are going to use the colored construction paper from your art packet. Probably looks something like this stuff right here. You are also going to need glue and a pair of scissors. And that's it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose one of your pieces of paper to be your base paper. So I'm gonna use this one as my base paper right here. I wanna build up a background and make it a little bit more interesting. Matisse's collages often had many layers to them. So I have already cut many different rectangles. And this kind of reminds me of segments of music. So I'm going to decide how I want to place these around my paper. I'm not going to glue anything down yet because I still want to be able to change things, move them around if I need to, or even eliminate them if I decide I don't want them. So you can see kind of going through my artist process here I'm still I move things around even after I lay them down uh, I might want to shorten that one and trim a little bit off the edge but this way I can still move them around the next thing I want to make um, is the music staff one two three four five lines make up a music staff I want to capture the movement of the music, so I'm going to cut my lines wavy. So I had already cut a curve into my green paper, and I am using that curve so I can cut out my five musical staff lines. All right, um, Matisse often abstracted and simplified his forms. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I didn't tell you the story, you wouldn't even know that this was a person, a musician playing the music here. They're very simplified. You can't see the facial features, there's shapes. Um, so my music staff is a little bit simplified. It's a little bit different than a regular music staff because it's curved, it's getting bigger on this side, it's narrow over here. So you can change things and simplify them 
or if your style is to add more detail then you can add more detail so the next thing I want to think about are maybe some music notes I think those would still be in my background area so I can think about adding those first thing I want to do is decide what color paper I'm going to add them in I think I'm going to use my blue paper I think that would give me lots of contrast from the other the warm colors that are in the background. I think I want to cut out more than one music note at a time so I'm going to fold my paper over. This may be something where you want to draw it first and then cut it out. I want to give my music note a little bit more thickness than I would if I were just painting it because I do have to cut this out. So I've drawn it first, and now I can go ahead and cut it out. I have two music notes and I can make some more yet. Alright, I have finished cutting out my music notes and I think I like the background the way it is. I figured out where everything's gonna go. So before I add anything else on top, I think I am going to glue down my background. That way when I work on top of it, it's not wiggling around or moving. So I'm going to get my first layer in. I am not going to glue my music notes down, but I'm going to place them because I might want to change them around as I start working on my piano. I might want to add more, I might want to take some away. These are all choices that I can make as long as I don't glue everything down. So on the piano, of course, there's the shape of the piano. I know that if I was looking at it from the top, it would have this curved top shape. And of course, everybody would recognize a piano by the black and white rectangular keys. So those are things that I can use in my collage to help give the feeling of a piano. But remember, I don't have to make a whole piano out of paper. So I have started my piano keys and I just took a rectangle of paper and started cutting little cuts into it but not all the way. So I think I'm going to go in here and I'm going to fold over every other key or every other rectangle. I decided that I want to make my collage kind of stick out off of the paper a little bit. So by folding the paper, I think this is going to help kind of bring it forward and bring it out of the flat world. And then I could also kind of bend it too on my paper. I like the diagonals, I think that kind of goes along with the energy and movement of music. So you can see I'm placing a lot of my objects on here at a diagonal. Alright, so now I need to work on some other keys and the black keys.
All right, I had to move a few of my music notes around, so it's a good thing I didn't have them glued down. But I think I have my collage just about the way I want it. I had all these little scraps from cutting out the black keys, and so I began using those in other places of the paper because black's such a strong color, I felt like I needed it in more than just one place. And it's kind of leading around the collage. So I think I'm ready to begin gluing these down too. Alright, so on this last shape here, my piano keys, I have to make sure that I hold on to this for a little while while the glue begins to dry. So I've put just a tiny bit of glue, just two dots of glue on the back. And let's see if I can get it to stick and even stand up off the paper a little bit. Alright, I have to give my glue just a little bit longer to dry and I can decide if I want to trim the pieces off that are going right off the edge or if I want to leave them. I think I'm going to leave them on there. I think it just kind of adds to the energy of the music to have it going right off the edge of my base paper. So you'll be able to see this hanging up out in the hallway if you need to look up or if you need to look at an example. Make sure that you take a picture of your project when you're done with it. Click on the slide that I've attached to the assignment and take a picture of it, insert it onto the slide, and turn in the slide. I hope you have fun with your Matisse painting with scissors.